good morning. I've got Justin here with me today. He's come to open some gates and uh, give us a hand, which is great. So it's good to have somebody with you. Uh, yeah, we'll go out and we'll look for some more sign this morning and then uh, go and check the second property first. Put a couple more traps in. We've just come along to this lovely little creek crossing here. We noticed some tracks on the... Thank you, Brandon. I didn't need that licking. Get out. <laughs> you interrupted what I was trying to say, Brandon. Back off. Um, yeah, where was I? We noticed a set of tracks on the on the road just back there. And when we got up close, here's a dog has dropped a turkle right here in the middle of this, this little rise. So we've set a trap just off to one side here. And uh, just a basic trap, no, nothing fancy about it. Just put it down onto a log that's here beside the road. A little bit of fat up on the on the point of a branch. And let's see if we can catch this sneaky little bloke. Well, he's giving you a dose of love now, is he? Yeah. Brandon? <sighs> he stole his chair. Uh, he's, <laughs> yeah, he stole his chair, mate. <laughs> right, well, it's come in showers. So we put the roof on the little buggy. We've got our raincoats on. And uh, we'll head out to um, check the trap line now. We've just set that one extra trap over there. Not much sign, just that one set of tracks, but I'm hopeful. Heading into this gully crossing, I saw a big track here uh, on day one. And cattle have probably wrecked it. Smoke on the old mountain over there. Beautiful. But, uh, this light drizzle has sort of washed out the tracks. Well, not washed them out, but just settled everything. So any tracks from last night won't look fresh. But, uh, you know, if there's anything still kicking around now, walking around any of the roads, we will uh, we'll see them for sure. Skunk, give me your opinion. Hunt him up. Skunk. Hunt him up. What do you got? Oh, I think you're just busting for a leak, mate. Hunt him up. Been a pigeon under there. Hunt him up. Anything? Nothing. Hunt him up. Strange. It's such a great little pinch point. And uh, all those little baby calves back there. You'd think this would be a spot that there'd be a dog come through, but nothing. Not interested. Up, 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 up. Just come in here now to a, a feed trough. Uh, they're putting out dry lick probably for the cattle. Been a lot of cattle around here. It's got this great little dam, so it's a, a place to just see what's, what's been kicking around, because if there's a dog here, it should be hunting around the side of this, this dam somewhere. You behave yourself. No, don't you go in. I didn't say the magic word. Skunk. Wallaby. Interesting to see what track he's leaving, see? Very little, but they're still, still visible. Been a pig there a while back. Another dead cane toad. Now, when you see them like this, they've had their mouth open pulled open they've been eaten out around the the front now that's an animal that's learnt that these things are poisonous it's got the poison glands there on the back of the neck of this cane toad usually that's a crow that'll eat them like that if you've got a tawny frog mouth owl he'll rip their stomach open back here if you say if you see him ripped up there it's usually an owl that's usually a crow okay we come along here down the, look, through country where we never saw a track. There wasn't a track there. We're coming down to the dam, and there was one set of tracks. We've come around the other side, and here is tracks of, I reckon, two, probably three dogs going up the road. And there's some older tracks here too. So I think this is one of their, their beaten paths, which is good. Uh, so we've put one trap in on the other side, over here. 
there's a scat there on the other side and I'm putting one here probably put one here with some dominant dog urine and uh, let's see if we can get these dogs to, to pull up here on their next visit past skunk has got his nose out of joint because Justin's in his seat hey <laughs> you're not happy are you no he said oh, I'm happy Okay. Good sign there, so um, I'm confident. I do believe we've got one dog, maybe two, this morning in this these traps over here. Um, let's just go in by the law of averages. That's Murphy's law. So when you talk about Murphy's law, that if something something can go wrong, it will go wrong. Yeah. And I say to everybody that Murphy's mother was a McGee. I can make everything go wrong. How's your form, mate? Look at you. Found a friend, you found a treasure. Yeah. Doesn't look like there's anything. Put it in under that branch there to get away from the cattle. Over there, no, nothing. There's a good scat there, but that's an old one. And that's a long distance call I got over there on that bank. Righto, Brandon, what do we got down here, bloke? Three traps in here. Fingers crossed. This is where I really did think that we'd do some good. This one's over there, nothing. Damn. I think we're, we're chasing a pack of three dogs here now. Today's snack packs. What's that, Brandon? Hand him up, Brandon. Hand him up. Yeah, dude. How are you? You're pretty clean, boy. We'll be heading back in the swamp, dude. Head back in the swamp. We'll get Brandon. Get. Now we've come right around through past about 10, 15 different traps. We have not seen a fresh track. We've seen tracks of probably three to five dogs on the other property and a couple on the back end of this property. And like, since then, like crickets, nothing. What's going on? Tomorrow is another day. You're going home with Justin, are you, Brandon? Hey, eh? turncoat. You've lost things. What's that? Up. What's that, Brandon? <laughs> Come on, man. Well, it's one of those smoky old mornings. There's uh, a little bit of rain, a few showers coming over the mountains here now. Checking morning three. One dog down, we haven't checked the trap yet. We've got 45 in. I think probably what we're facing is they did a major 1080 baiting run here only about oh, two months ago. And I just don't think there's many dogs back here. There's still 10 or a dozen dogs, I think, that are in this area. But uh, I think they've taken the edge off them with the 1080. The one we caught was right next to a 1080 baiting uh, site. You can see where they had a piece of tape around the tree and a wire where they had the baits uh, tied up to a tree. And he was an old, old dog, you know, so he's gone through it all and just laughs at the 1080. And as we find, uh, quite a few do. Well, 
Let's see what's up here, doggies. No new tracks, nothing. Just disappointing. Put the trap in on the end of that little stick there. When things start to fall into place, they'll fall into place, we'll get two or three in a hit, but at the moment it just doesn't seem like big numbers. Okay, this pig's walk back here. Walk right up to this trap. But that one has been cunning enough that it didn't approach um, this trap at all, the scent. I think that's uh, dog scat over there. Uh, no, urine. And I've got scat on this one. It's come right in and just missed the trap pan by that much. Well, this is an example of the dilemma that we face here. This paddock is absolutely full of cows calving. Like there is so many young calves here that have all dropped in the last probably, <coughs> 10 days. There'll be a massive amount of afterbirth, you know, calf poo, probably a couple of dead calves, all in this paddock here somewhere. Uh, this is just a great hunting ground for a dingo. Now, if you want to come and, and chase something, this is where you do it. We haven't found a track. No. Excuse me. Excuse me. Try and talk here. Yeah, you too. On all the lead-ins to here, we have um, haven't seen a dog track. Um, well, first ride on one gully over here, we've got the, the trap on the steep gully. There was one track when we arrived there. And it, yeah, right, eh? and it was old. So the problem we have is how do I get traps to last in here? I could put traps everywhere here and they're going to all get wrapped or I'm going to catch my own wheel phones in one of the traps. What do you reckon, skunk old? It's about time that our luck changed, mate. We come here and there is tracks all the way along here. I just walked up here to have a look and there's tracks straight along here, a quite a big dog on the drag. So I've set another trap, set another one here on that sand pad. I've just put a little bit more leaf on that now to disguise it a little bit, just darken it up a little bit more. It looks like they might have come through when that rain was on. And if so, they might have just walked straight through and didn't smell anything. So I've got to have a, uh, a scent as close as I can. That's where this one here behind me, it's right next door to where they're working. Like, you know, if they're walking through here, it's only you know, six feet off it, so. Right, I just drove past this trap set and uh, a dog's come in here and he's actually stood there and he scratched dirt back over the trap. So he's been looking, he's actually scratched where I put the scent, where the scent of the uh, dominant dog I put on that tuft of grass. He scratched at that and put the dirt back actually over the trap, but it hasn't wrecked it. So I'm just going to leave that the way it is. Right, we've got a pretty uh, smart dog there. He's come in, he or she, and I've scratched at that, suspecting that there's a trap there, I reckon. So what I'll do, where I pulled up with the vehicle here, there's two lots of scat on either side of the road. So this is a real marking spot for the dog. So I'm going to set up here and probably put a blind trap in. I'll put some of our own dash scat beside this scatter there. So I'm sort of marking over there, marking spot. And I'll put the blind trap way back out off it, right? So that if they 
put a stepping stick, everything, make it look, if, they, if they're expecting a trap, I'll make it look like there's a trap there. All right, make it a little bit more obvious. And uh, with the luck that they'll stand back off it and try and scratch that again. Uh, but I think we've got, yeah, some cunning dogs here. All we can do is, is try and see how the dog reacts to these sets. So it's probably a, a bit, you know, educational process for me. Go in and say, right, what does this dog know? What um, can he understand? So is he reading my mind when I'm putting a trap in? So then how do I put a trap in that will beat him? Okay, so it's a real game of of uh, patience and a battle of wills, I suppose. Let's see who wins. We're heading down into the gully here now where we've got three sets. This is my pick place on the whole property to get a dog. <laughs> Probably because I pick it, we're not going to catch anything there. But anyway, we can endeavour to persevere. Cattle have walked through. Cattle have put that one off. He's kicked out. Tip that over. I haven't actually set it off. Probably go off and grab me by the finger. There's a bit of fat there. So it come right in. Cattle, the cattle come right in and sniff that. They've just stood on it. I'll just put it back in nice and nice and quickly. Pack down around it a little bit. But because it's loose sand, we don't have to go to too much trouble. Keep the sides exposed a bit. Make sure there's no air pockets. So I get some other sand, some dry sand. Skunk just jumped out of the vehicle, mm. bolted out into the bush here. He's on a pig, I'd say. I have a little bale here in front of us. I don't know what he's got, but sounds like a wolf, like a big boar. It's really hard to get two, two, three rounds through that black and white ball. That's got him. Good dogs. Whew. Good boy, skunk. Come here. Good man. Good boy. Good boys. Where's Joe Watchman when you need him? Let's go. Come here, my boy. Let's go. Good boy. Come here. You got him. You knew something. You just went straight out of the buggy. Go on. I went in a run and bail in the lantana. Brandon, come here, Brandon. Good boys, Brandon. Quick. Brandon, come here. Good man. Good boys. Two up. Not lugging dogs. No vests. 
no cups. Good, efficient pegging, that's what it is. The boys need the bogey after that chase. Good boy. Good dogs. There's nothing like a bit of pig chasing to get the blood pumping. Makes you feel young. Or well, not quite as old anyway. This afternoon, I brought out my beautiful little mossy girl and Rob, Rob the Knob. Yep, your turn, Robbie. Hopefully we can find a pig, mate. With a little luck and a greenback dollar, you're gonna see me shine. Right on dark, we just come up to the dead beast up here and a pig broke off. Robbie's gone straight after it down the gully. Mossy, you be careful, little darling. Good boy, Robbie. Good boy, Robbie. Good boy, Robbie. Robbie. Robbie, Robbie, come here. Robbie, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Rob. Good girl. That's her first, first pig she's been on. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Mossy. Clear, Robbie. And deadbolt. Good girl, little boy. We must have hit him in the right spot. Couldn't see much. Little set of tusks. Good girl, good girl. That was a good run just before dark. It was great to get this little mossy out on a first pig. Now, it's, I didn't want to put her on a ball for a start, but she handled it okay. She's my next breeding bitch, so these, this will be, yeah, the next line of, of badass borders from McGee's wild country. Good girl. Yes, Mossy Moo. Good girl, Mossy. You got him. You got that ball. Good girl. Oh, the big days. Big days. Daylight from dark. Yeah. Put the hard yards in.